Hi, I am Kaliat Valsaraj, and welcome back to my channel. Look up! Above the clouds an ancient and incredible journey is unfolding. Forget human roads and railways, today we're taking a breathtaking dive onto the ultimate global superhighway, the paths taken by migratory birds. Every year, billions of birds, from the tiniest hummingbird to the largest crane, embark on epic voyages between their breeding and wintering grounds. In the next five minutes, we'll track the major routes of this avian superhighway, discover their unbelievable navigational secrets, and see why this feat of nature is now more threatened than ever. These aren't random flights, they are precise, life-giving corridors known as flyways. These are the broad, generalized pathways that birds consistently follow, often defined by major geographical features like coastlines, river valleys, and mountain ranges. In North America, we talk about the Big Four. The Atlantic Flyway traces the eastern seaboard, a vital route for shorebirds and waterfowl. The Mississippi Flyway follows the mighty river and its tributaries, acting as a massive funnel through the continent's interior. The Central and Pacific Flyways hug the western mountains and coastlines, extending from the Arctic all the way to Central and South America. The camera pulls back to reveal a stunning global view of Earth from space, with all major flyways illuminated as glowing pathways connecting continents. The East Asian-Australasian Flyway pulses prominently, stretching from Alaska to Australia. Close-up inserts show a spoon-billed sandpiper in its natural habitat, photographed with telephoto lens compression and beautiful bokeh. But these routes are truly global. One of the most critical is the East Asian-Australasian Flyway, spanning 22 countries and used by millions of birds, including the critically endangered spoon-billed sandpiper. These routes link continents, cultures, and ecosystems, proving that for birds, borders simply don't exist. The feats performed on this superhighway are mind-boggling. Take the Arctic Turn. It completes an annual pole-to-pole -pole migration of over 49,700 miles, the longest known animal migration on Earth. Then there's the bar-tailed godwit, which holds the record for the longest non-stop flight, nearly 7,000 miles over the Pacific Ocean without a break. How do they navigate? Scientists are still unraveling the mystery, but we know it's a mix of superpowers. Celestial cues, they use the position of the sun and stars. Geomagnetism, they can sense the Earth's magnetic field, literally flying with a built-in GPS. Olfaction, smell. Some species even use scent to locate their ancestral breeding grounds. Migration is inherently dangerous. But today, birds face unprecedented human-made hazards. This superhighway is becoming an obstacle course. The biggest threat is the destruction and degradation of their habitat, especially those vital stopover sites. When wetlands are drained or forests are cleared, birds lose their crucial fueling stations, jeopardizing the entire journey. Other deadly hazards include window collisions. Buildings, especially tall ones with reflective glass, cause hundreds of millions of fatalities annually. Light pollution. City lights disorient night-migrating birds, often pulling them dangerously off course. Climate change. Warming temperatures disrupt the delicate timing of migration, causing a mismatch between arrival and the availability of their food, like insects. The good news? We can help. Conservation is focusing on flyway scale protection, a coordinated, global effort across the multiple countries a single bird crosses. The avian superhighway is a testament to the sheer resilience and wonder of nature. It's a reminder that we are all connected through these fragile, high-flying travelers. Protecting their journey means protecting the wetlands, forests, and coasts that keep our entire planet healthy. So, what can you do right now? Turn off unnecessary lights during migration season. Make your windows bird-safe with film or decals. And support the conservation groups working to protect these flyways around the world. Let's make sure this incredible spectacle of life continues for generations to come. So, what can U.S. bird and wildlife photographers do to help in preserving these ancient migratory routes? It is important for us photographers to document these exciting voyages of our avian friends at strategic locations such as the U.S. Gulf Coast, the temperate forests of the U.S. and Canadian borders, and several other places in between. 
both fall and spring seasons provide such exciting opportunities throughout the United States. The decline in birds and the migration habitats, along with human influences, should be of concern to all of us. It is important for us to act as photojournalists to bring attention to these effects. We should be on the forefront to keep our governments focused on improving and implementing the Migratory Bird Treaty Act of 1918, which has saved countless birds from extinction. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button so that I can bring you more of such informative videos.